Mel Radford here to talk to you about the Mitsubishi Variable Frequency Drive. I'm going to talk about the D700 series today. D700 is a great little drive, very inexpensive. That's really the key behind the D700. D700 gives you tight control, but it really doesn't have the, uh, the uh, options that the larger drives has, and that's fine because what you get with the D700 is tight motor control basic. What I mean by that is the D700 has AC magnetic flux vector control built in, okay? Very, very tight control for a small drive package. Gives you open loop control, but at, with the same precision as closed loop control. Therefore, no encoder necessary. And that's with your standard AC motor, okay? None of the special servo motors, any of that kind of stuff. Standard AC motor. With that, gives you the ability to have up to 50% energy savings on your standard applications such as pump control, fan control, conveying, small conveying. So when you look at your overall energy consumption, the D700 will save you money. Also built in digital I.O., both input and output, gives you the ability to Communicate RS-485, so you can do multi-drop communication. Very easy to start up. There is, for a small drive, this is very unique, a software package that you utilize to connect and configure, so you can configure over an RS-485 network. The software package allows you to start the drive up in 80% less time than your standard small variable frequency drive. So a lot of savings there as well few product attributes. Obviously from the bottom of the drive you access the power and motor connections Okay, from the bottom of the drive. And by the way this is finger safe. So you see the, uh, the, the connections are actually finger safe. I can't get my fingers in there to actually electrocute myself which is a nice little design. The parameter unit, being able to program, it's built into the D700 so you don't have to buy a separate parameter unit. You have the thumb wheel switch, which gives you the ability to set parameters, scroll through the parameters. You don't have to use those clunky old up-down switches or up-down buttons that you used to have. Parameter unit, the uh, thumb wheel switch, scroll through, and it is active. So you can click and access the, the process value and actually change the process value with the thumb wheel. Again, none of those clunky up-down switches. Again, from the front, you have the ability to run or stop the drive. Now that is uh, settable with a parameter. You can uh, enable or disable that. You have the ability to change the mode, auto manual. You have the ability to uh, get to all the parameters from here. Now, if we take a little closer look inside, the 485 that I was talking about, okay, the 485 unit that I was talking about. So there's your RS-485 plug. The terminal block configuration, now here's your sync and source dip switch so that you can actually just change the jumper from sync to, sync to source to change your digital inputs, uh, your inputs and outputs from sync to source. And again, the terminal block configuration, which is a Mitsubishi standard for the last 20 years. So with these terminal blocks, you just wire it up the same way as you have every other Mitsubishi drive for the last 20 years. They're called the exact same thing. Don't have to learn anything new, which is always nice. Also, with this drive, no terminal block or no, no screw terminals. So, very easy to start up, very easy to program, up to 80% uh, less time than other drives by utilizing the onboard or the configuration software. And again, advanced magnetic flux vector control, 50% energy savings. D700, great drive, low cost, Mitsubishi. Thank you very much.